it is time now to imagine at 947 on this Saturday, and we've got a little bit of a departure here. A junior uh, scientist, I guess you could say, is here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to speak with you in just a minute, so stay right there. But this is Sarah Young from the Imagination Station as well. Hi, and uh, so, so Carl's not here because you've got something going on that really focuses on the kids down at the Imagination Station today. Yes, today we have the Innovation Showcase, and it is from 12 to 4 today. And we are encouraging people to come downtown to Imagination Station and build their own innovation or invention. Uh, if you already have one at home, feel free to bring it down, but we'll have pieces on hand to create your own invention, create a mock invention. And part of the reason that this is so invent innovation is so important is Imagination Station, our main mission is to inspire in science in the children. Right. And part of the reason that's so important is companies are looking for people in the STEM fields. And STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. And these careers are used in lots of companies in Northwest Ohio, BP, Anderson's, First Solar, and two of the companies we'll have down with us today, Pilkington and ProMedica. Okay. Pilkington. So, so where do you work? Which one of those do you work at? <laughs> Not yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> but Pilkington will be on hand with glass from windshields and they will show how glass reacts when it's impacted. They'll also use dry ice to simulate uh, frost and how the wires in the back of your car, the defrosters, all of those are innovations and technologies we use every day. Cool. All right. Well, we've got Marky Mark Zuckerberg here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you created an app and, and your name is uh, Jonathan Buchanan. And uh, uh, how old are you? Um, I'm, el I'm 11. You're 11 years old mm -hmm. and you created an app how does that even happen? <laughs> did did you uh, what? You're writing code already, and you're not yeah. even you're not even uh, into junior high school yet, or, or are you you just barely there? Um, I'm going into sixth grade. Sixth grade. Well, all right. Well, well, tell us how this all came about. You got you took my I iPad there while I handed it over to you, so you could try to install this app because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> on those things. But uh, well, well, tell me about it. How did it all get started? Well, when I was about six years old, my dad asked me if. I wanted to learn how to make a basic website and at first I said no but a little while later I told him that I would like to learn how to make a website so he taught me that and then my dad had an iPhone and I was pretty interested in it and so I wanted to learn how to make apps so I um, went online for um, examples on how to do that okay. and I got a book. Alright and, and, and what's, what does your app do? Um, Daystream is social journaling because a few years ago when I was about eight, I asked my dad, how, do, how does Facebook and Twitter work? And he said, well, there's just this giant column of information and it just keeps going down. And I asked him, well, how do you see something, well, how do you look at something that happened about a year ago? And then he said, well, you don't. So I was like, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, Great ideas are born from someone saying that's stupid. <laughs> so then we decided to um, make Daystream, and that's how it came about. And then Daystream is a social journaling thing. So you have a journal for every day, and then you can post content to it, like photos and text. And then you can go back to that date. Um, from any day you want. Okay. So and if it, you it, it's day stream and, and yes. it's available at the App Store. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Well, th Jonathan, I'm sure you're going to be talking to some people down there, and uh, people are going to be picking your brain for algorithms all all day long. <laughs> but you'll be at the Imagination Station. We've got the hours here. We're going to take a look at your screen. If you head downtown today, it is open from uh, 10 to 5, and then tomorrow from noon to 5. But you're going to be down there today, hopefully helping out some budding young inventors just like yourself. Thanks very much for coming on down here. That's Thanks this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.